Bonjour, Friendship Ladies. One of the most popular requests that I get is for stunning advice from my lovely plus size ladies. Do you want help to look thinner, feel great and feminine? I have done a deep dive into plus size dresses, so I will give you the do's and the don'ts as we go along. My first styling tip for plus size ladies is necklines. When it comes to necklines, when you shouldn't do is to have a high neckline, such as screw neck or turtleneck. Et pourquoi, Marianne? Here you can see three examples of dresses with a high neckline. And these are modeled on plus-sized women. And you can see by yourself how having a high neckline gives a larger expanse for the bust. Therefore, the bust looks larger. So what should you wear instead? Do the reverse wear low necklines. So it could be a sweetheart neckline, a square neckline, or a v-neck. On the first dress, you can see this sweetheart neckline. That is not only feminine, it is also visually flattering, and because the neckline is lower, the bust look smaller. On the second dress, we are having a crossover neckline that creates a v-neck. And again, because of the v-neck, there's less material in that area, and thus it makes the bust smaller. On our third dress, you can see also a v-neck line accentuated with a wide piping. So you can see how this also creates two smaller panels on either side of the bust, creating a smaller bust. On our fourth dress, we can see also the v-neck line with a fluid material, so it makes it soft and fluid, feminine, and again, that v-neck line minimizing the impact of the large bust. What do you think of this style? Let us know in the comments below. Our next styling tip for plus size ladies is stripes. As a general rule, avoid horizontal stripes. And you can see this on our first dress, the red one. And what horizontal stripes do is that they make the eye go across the body from left to right or right to left in a horizontal manner. Therefore, it widens the silhouette visually. On our second dress, you can see that it's also horizontal stripes, but those stripes are wide because the body is cut visually in chunks. It does not make it flattering and also it widens the body. And with our third dress, you can see stripes have gone mad and it's just very confusing to the eye, still widening and really not flattering at all. All this is compounded by the high neckline. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire? Instead of horizontal stripes, go for vertical stripes because they are visually slimming. The eye sees in a vertical manner, therefore you look taller, and by looking taller, you appear narrower, therefore slimmer. Again, the next three dresses I'm going to show you are modeled by plus size ladies. Our first dress is white with narrow black stripes. And you can see straight away the visual impact that vertical stripes have on the silhouette. The lady appears slimmer, she appears taller, and of course compounded by the effect of the v-neck line. Let's not forget also something that is flattering here, we're having a belt. So you can see already an hourglass shape created there and then. Don't be worried about creating a waistline. You can see here, it does work. Our next dress is a wrap dress, again with thin vertical stripes. Again, the v-neck line, and this one is nipped in at the waistline. So you can see straight away that the person again is elongated, looking thinner, a smaller bust appearing thanks to the v-neck, and there we're having a waistline. This third dress is a favorite of mine. It's navy blue, wrap style, so we're having a lovely v-neck, and a strategic piping with a few pinstripes at the front and at the wrist. So the v-neck, those stripes and the belt help to create an elongated figure, slimmer and dare I say highly feminine and elegant. A next styling tip for plus size ladies is detailing. 
frills, tears, balloon sleeves, any extra on the dress that will add to the width. Our first dress shows you some ruching. It can flatter, it can create some nice shape. But on this dress, the actual rushing has gone mad. You can see the rushing from the top to the bottom and even on the sleeves. So that has absolutely no meaning. It doesn't add anything to the, to the dress whatsoever, but serves only to create pleats on the body. And those pleats are, malheureusement, horizontal. Even though the neckline is low, the dress doesn't do the wearer any favors. On the second dress, we have rushing from the shoulders all the way down to the front. It is not flattering to the silhouette, and on top of this, the neckline is high. The whole dress is really not flattering whatsoever. On our third dress, we have balloon sleeves, which add a lot to the arms in volume, and two tiers below the waistline. And adding to this, the dress is short, it is above the knee. So the extra volume, we have more fabric that helps to widen the person, compounded by the shortness of the dress. Instead of looking taller and thinner, the person will appear shorter and wider. A fourth dress, shapeless, is wider than the person, with a one tier. So this one is even worse than the third one because it does not even create or show a waistline. It has a v-neck, yes, but the v-neck here doesn't help much in the fact that we have this extra fabric and it is short. Again, that will shorten and wider the wearer. So what can you wear instead? Well, any dress that has minimal detailing, that is really lean in design, will work in your favor. Our first dress here is beautiful. So you have one layer of button at the front and it has darts below the bust. So it really define the bust area, but while minimizing it, and also creates a waistline. It has no other visible detailing or added fabric. I think this dress is magnificent. Our second dress is a simple black dress, v-neckline, a marked waistline and a split at the side. As you can see again, a very simple design that will elongate your silhouette, show off some of your leg with a lovely v-neckline that will minimize your bust. And yes, this is a plus size model. A third dress is a dress for cocktail evenings. So we have a black dress covered in lace, and again, slim design. We're having a v-neckline, we're having a waist created under the bust, and the length which is below the knees. So we have a feminine dress with the lace, the v-neck, um, some movement as well with the fabric. It is a beautiful dress showing your hourglass figure without adding an ounce. On our fourth dress, we're having a shirt dress and a v-neckline and a belt. With the length below the knees, it helps to create a slimmer silhouette, yet a perfect hourglass figure, making you look beautiful, feminine and slimmer. And once again, this is a plus size model. So you can see, even though they're plus size, they do not appear so. They look so much slimmer by making the right choice of dress. This deep dive has shown me, though, that still in 2024, we have dresses for plus-size women that are totally unflattering. I've really had to search far and wide for flattering dresses. So don't be afraid to walk away. If it's not a wow, it is still a no. If you want to know more about how to dress your beautiful plus size figure, check out my plus size e-course in the description box. Our next styling tip for my plus size ladies is fitting. So the first thing to avoid is dresses that are too tight fitting. And pourquoi, you may ask? Well, it's because something that is too tight will show or create lumps and bumps all over your body. If it's made of jersey, the dress may rise up and makes you uncomfortable because you will be forever pulling it down. 
you can see on these three dresses that they are like bandeau style dresses. They leave you with no room to move, literally, and no room for error. They are not a flattering look. You will not only look uncomfortable, but also you will look larger than you are. So what can you wear instead? Have a look at this black dress. You have a white piping at the front to make you look slimmer. It is fitted, not tight at the bust area. It creates a lovely waistline and below the waist, it has some movement. You have room to move, literally, but still make you look slimmer, taller and feminine. There's nothing tight here, but well fitting. Our second dress you have seen before briefly and it is again well fitted. You have some beautiful darts under the bust area that gives you a beautiful bust and create also a waistline. It goes all the way down to a midi hemline making the look very feminine, flowy but not loose and make you look and I think feel beautiful. A quick reminder here about tailoring. Tailoring does not mean tight. It means that it's just well tailored to the size and body of the person. Tight fitting is almost like a sausage casing. Tailoring, tight. Tailoring, tight. I think you get a message. A next styling tip for my plus size ladies is straps. As a plus size woman, you probably have a large bust and large busts need support with a good bra. And those good bras usually come with wider straps. So the best thing to avoid is dresses with spaghetti straps or dresses that are strapless. So with either one, you cannot wear a bra with straps. And strapless bras do not offer the support that bras with straps do. And the result will be that you will not feel comfortable at all. So what can you do instead? Wear dresses with wider straps. They are just as feminine, they are just as beautiful as the others, but you can wear good supportive bras underneath. And you can see how these two dresses with wider straps are feminine, beautiful and flattering. And slimming. By the way, I have a little bonus tip for you. During the hot season, try to go for dresses in natural fabrics that let you breathe, such as linen, rami or cotton. Giving you the information you want about plus size dresses has been so much fun. But if you want to know five style mistakes that make your tummy bigger, watch the video on screen now.